<laughs> Better made Came up with them thoroughbred swap world That was Detroit City Moved out to the Gold State California I ain't come from love with me Focus like Adderall When I had a ball, I shatter boys Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore One kid but I'm sunny Welcome everybody, I'm Mark This is Emerald Class Collection Thanks for hitting my channel up If you have videos on fresh and best kicks, merch, etc Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell Shout out to little Master for a reminder Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing The Warren Lotus, the Reaper Low <laughs> Uh, these shoes was created like out the blue after you got sued by Nike for like infringing on their dunk low like design But I won't go too far deep into that when I originally ordered the shoes the shoes was something different It was a uh, it was a collaboration with staple, you know the, uh, the pigeon gear <laughs> It was like literally uh, like a perfect reiteration of the Nike dunk, you know time staple It was like gray red had the pigeon on the back. It was basically the same shoe But it was one Lotus like his, his swoosh and like Jason Voorhees swoosh instead of the Nike swoosh. So I ordered those back on September 27th of 2020 for 300 bucks. Right after that, like literally right after that, Nike got pissed, went through the whole litigation, blah, blah, blah. He changed the whole design, got it approved. And then he put out for the people like me who gave us the option to either cancel, completely get our money back, or have picked between, they call it the OG Reapers or whatever. It was like a white pair, I don't believe. It was like a, a UNC color like a light blue color and then it was like the OG Reaper that had like the blood and all this other stuff So I got the OG Reaper. So as I mentioned the price was 300 bucks the resale I've seen a few pairs go on eBay for like 400 to 600 bucks depending on the size which is good <laughs> And then I remember he did like a whole thing on his Instagram He has in Warren Lotus I uh, had this guy walk like from LA to San Francisco or something in these bad boys And they actually held up pretty good. They ain't wrinkle as bad. They ain't get as dirty which I was shocked and uh, the, the rubber on the bottom did rub off pretty bad, but that's a long walk y'all the dude did it like it was like a week ballparks like about a week uh so the shoe holds up it's good quality so i'm excited to see these in person i don't know the sizing i probably will stick my foot in it to see the sizing and i'll probably just put that in the comment section down below without any further ado let's unbox these bad boys i'm gonna grab my shank turn safety off because remember safety first remember when you cut off the box to always cut away always cut away because <laughs> trust me you don't want to get shanked Discard that. All right, let's get out the box. Hey, got a shirt and a pencil. <laughs> I own the most hated shoe on earth. Is this like a, I think it's like a bumper sticker too. That's pretty cool. I did not know I was getting that. And if he did mention it, I don't remember, but that's cool. Discard that. All right, this is my first Warren Lotus shoe. This box is cool as hell. I ain't gonna lie. It says the Reaper, the most hated shoe on earth. Got a nice graphic on there. It's like a his a uh, Reaper. <laughs> Back here it says ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Over here it says the shoe represents a lot of me. It caused a lot of pain, but I'm happy it exists. Every pair that gets produced is a victory. Yeah, you've been through a lot, and you know, I, being so close to somebody else's design, they have to go through like redesigning it up to where it's yours. I mean, that's, to me, that's growth. So <laughs> let's take it from that. The size tag says WL Reaper Chainsaw. So it's called the Chainsaw Colorway. Size 13. This is a Warren Lotus product. All right. Check these bad boys out. So I do remember hearing about this dust bag. This dust bag supposed to double as a, as a mask. So you can put the shoes in there, but you can also put it on as a mask. And I'll show you. Stick my fingers through the hole. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. It's a cool touch. Um, I don't know if the holes are you know perfectly over your eyes. Actually, I want to check it out, but we do that in a second. Spare laces, like in burgundy. Some uh, worn on this paper. It's time for the unveil. Oh, oh, that quality looks very nice. And there you have it. The Warren Lotus Reaper Low in the Chainsaw colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So what are your thoughts on this shoe? This is a uh, very, this is very nice. I gotta, I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Top of to a review. Starting lateral side at the bottom, you have like this, it's like a burgundy. It's a dark red. 
uh, very nice because I like the darker reds uh, personally. And right above that, this midsole is a brown midsole, like a true brown midsole. It is reminiscent of the Dunks. I just did a review like uh, seconds ago <laughs> on a Dunk pair, the Dunk versus Air Force One. Uh, check that video out. Uh, but it looks similar. It's different for sure. It's some different like notches that's in Nikes. Um, I noticed that. But anyway, uh, it's different, but it's still very nice. Moving up past that here at the midfoot is where you get that detail that kind of screams at you. It's the silver, it's a silver like, um, this is patent leather. Patent leather is like silver and it has like a, some dark gray, but it makes like the Reaper skull. Very nice. Uh, still kind of like the swoosh a little bit because it got like the hood that come off. That's kind of like the swoosh, but it is what it is. Then the panel behind it is this nice soft leather and it has um, speckles, red speckles and like blood. <laughs> which uh, reminds me of my Freddy Krueger pair, my Freddy Krueger uh, Air Max 95s, which I have a video for that too, check that out. Um, and underneath the Reaper swoosh, it has like this uh, panel was kind of like a custard. It's a custard color. <laughs> then at the front of the shoe and the rear of the shoe, you have this nice plush, nice, nice plush brown suede. Rolling on to the front of the shoe, you get the midsole also spilling up. You get more of that plush brown suede going around and the suede is very soft to the touch. Then right here on the toe area is perforated leather, that same custard color leather from the side. Then going up in the eyelets, you have these uh, flat, they like oval laces and they're white. And I think the burgundy laces will probably look better in these, but I can see the white working too. And then underneath you have this puffy tongue, it's a canvas and it's like an olive color. And at the top it says Reaper like in a beige patch. So on the flip side of the tongue, you have this patch that says live free or die. And it's like a, the feel is like some very soft like microfiber and it's a very puffy tongue like the SB and then the sock liner in this bad boy is the same like olive color as the tongue and it's very puffy as well and then the insole is a red insole with like the, the Warren Lowe's Reaper like in white Roll onto the heel of the shoe. The back of the shoe is very reminiscent of the dunk because it had like that same like pattern where it's like the mid so also mid sole, it's like another patch. Then it has the patch in between with the stitching going through it. Then the oval, like the half circle looking patch with the Nike logo, but it says a WL for Warren Lotus and it's in black embroider. And it's, I mean, the quality is very nice, y'all. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe. Uh, this outsole was his own thing. <laughs> and it's like that dark red, that burgundy looking color. And it says ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And it has like a reaper on there and the one of those reaper holding like a, a scythe or sickle <laughs> one of those two things <laughs> i don't know one is shorter than the other one but anyway the dust the dust is written inside the blade of that and then there's some flames at the bottom like there's a lot of detail in this bad boy and it looks very good close so i'll do a quick comparison uh i know a pair of dunks made by keto wears and i just wanted to do like a quick side by side comparison of the quality and just compare the shoes let's check them out so here i got the keto wear passion of christ and these were advertised as dunks, so I'm not sure if this was an actual like a Nike dunk. They just deconstructed and reconstructed. I'm not sure to be honest, but um, I, it's, it's a few cues from this shoe that is very similar to the Nike shoe. And I feel like they cut off like the outsole and put a new one on. Didn't have changes to where they won't get like sued. <laughs> but what I noticed, uh, this Keto wears is way more puffy on the tongue and on the inside, like way more puffy. Um, I did pull the insole out of this one, and the insole it does have like, um, it looked like Zoom, so it probably was an actual like SB, and they just deconstructed and reconstructed. Um, and then I did notice too that, you know, the, the whoop whoop, <laughs> that's my man from CSA, whoop whoop. This, this sole over here is real squishy. You're not squishing this Warren Lotus, you can't. Like I'm, I'm literally trying hard, I'm not a weak dude. I can't bend this sole, so as far as squeezing it side by side, but I can on here. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not a skater, so I don't know what the difference may be. It does feel like there's a lot of air in this, uh, and there's no air in these, so who knows which one's more comfortable. But the overall size of the shoe, similar. I feel like the Warren Lotus is more slim and uh, more like contour, but they both are very dope. Um, you know, praise Jesus and uh, you know, to hell with Satan. <laughs> That's just my view on it. So if I had to pick one out of the two, I'm going with the Passion of Christ overall, but it's very dope details in your Reapers. Uh, what would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm, the wait is over, finally got them. Um, I'm, I am gonna try them on real quick to see what the, how they feel. Give me a second. Oh yeah, they are uh, true to size. Like they fit really good, nice snug on the foot, not too, uh, like they ain't too tight or nothing. Let's put this insole out. 
because I am curious about this insole. Um, see if there's any technology in it. Yeah, it's a little patch back here. Got a little patch in the front. And it's nice, it is thick. It's nice thick insole. So I'm sure it's gonna add some extra comfort to it. Uh, overall, I'm happy with this shoe. I'm glad I finally got it. Well, I'll buy another shoe from Warren Lotus. Uh, 300 bucks is pretty expensive. I do see why this quality is very good quality. I know good quality because I'm an easy guy. <laughs> but what I recommend getting a pair and waiting that long, like if you got 300 bucks to spend and it's not gonna bother you not having your product, I will say yes. But if you got a problem waiting basically you know, a year to get your shoe, and uh, other people complain about it too, that most of them are pre-orders and I get it, they gotta make all the shoes, pack them all up, quality control, ship them. I get it. Um, I think this would probably be my only pair unless another pair come out that I have to have or a collaboration I have to have. I know they collab with SRT, which is a, a Chrysler company, um, you know, a street racing team. I have an SRT myself and I thought about getting that pair. But I didn't have this pair yet and I'm like, I'm not gonna spend another 300 bucks and wait forever to get an SRT pair. I'm kind of regretting it because I would have kept that pair and maybe got rid of this pair. But the weight is what I didn't want to do. So it's up to you if you want to get a pair of these. The quality is worth it. If you like the dunk style shoe, definitely worth it. But I'm just putting a you know caution out there about spending your money having to wait for you know possibly close to a year, at least in this case. Um, now that you got the design, might be a lot quicker. But we'll see when people start getting a pair of SRTs, which probably I think those dropped like a month ago. So I ended up getting a shirt and like a little key fob out of that package. Um, so we'll see when people start getting theirs. If it's sooner, then shame on me. <laughs> anyway, did you pick up a pair of the OG Warren Lotus uh, dunk style shoes? What color did you get? If you got the clean slates, I think they was called. It's like a UNC colorway or the chainsaws. Let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, I'll thank everyone for tuning into my channel. Give me all the feedback, show me all the love. I really appreciate you guys. Let's keep the momentum rolling. As my little son say, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla. I put 10,000 hours in, we don't throw no tiles in. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Put the work in. If it's money on the floor, girl, put some work in. I'll be damned if what I do, I ain't the best at it. Gotta go that extra mile, then the rest that it push. Push, 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 push. Put the work in. If it ain't about no money, it ain't work